Wondering how to build a strong team for your independent film? Many producers struggle with this. Uh, the key here is to not make snap decisions, is to not go, oh, this is the first person that responded to my post on Facebook, and it was the first sound recordist. Perfect, let's hire that person. Uh, you don't wanna make those snap decisions. When you're choosing the key crew, and truly the keys would be your DP, your director of photography, or the DOP, if somebody's watching this, this is not in the US, uh, the cinematographer, uh, the line producer, the UPM, the AD, uh, also the sound recordist, I'd put that up there as a key position, meaning there are going to be people under them in the positions in their department, but those keys, you really have to take your time. Not that the other ones you can make snap decisions on, but in many cases, say, like the DP will have his or her crew that he or she gives their stamp of approval so they'll be able to bring those people on. Uh, but when you're hiring somebody that is one of your keys, that's when you really need to take your time, qualify that person, talk to them, see if you're on the same page just from that start, but then also go to IMDb Pro, find out what other films they've done, reach out to those producers, and I guarantee those producers will be happy to tell you that they either love the person or hated the person. <laughs> They're happy to do both. I have a list of people I would never work with again, and once they get on that list, almost impossible to get off that list, right? But for me as well, I have those gold star people that I would work with anytime. Right, if say we say and we need an AC, an assistant camera person for this this job, I know some people in my head that I would be like, oh, you're guaranteed, you're gonna guaranteed to get a great rate and a great performance from this person, right? So almost every producer has that. So the key would be uh, talking to your line producer or your UPM and really working with them to put the crew together. A great line producer slash UPM, which I'm gonna go into in a minute, will have a crew base, right? Now, if you have the two different, if there's two different people working those roles, like you have one as a line producer, they're gonna be focusing on the line items and here's the rate for this, here's the rate for that, and really just focusing on the budget, the line items in the budget. And the unit production manager, the UPM, will be the person that's dealing with the crew and have more of a crew base. But on many independent films, that becomes kind of one role. That line producer is also the UPM. So if you have a person that's worth their weight, in the indie film business, they're gonna have a deep crew list, right? So then if you really focus on a relationship with that line producer slash UPM where you trust them and you trust their opinions, well, then you could use their recommendations to get a crew. But again, the key is don't make any snap decisions. One person that's off can ruin your entire film. I've seen it happen, right? It's almost like a worm in an apple. You have that one little teeny worm, but it ruins the entire Apple. And that could happen. We had a sound recordist once that was brand new, nice person, but really didn't know what he was doing. And we chose him because it was a cheaper rate at the time and we had limited budget. Um, but the, the old saying, if you want to think, of, you think it's costly to hire a professional, try hiring an amateur. And in this case, we hired an amateur and he cost us so much money in ADR and sound mixing. And the sound was never quite what it would have been if we had got somebody that was great from the start. So really be discerning with your crew.